Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com so today we are going to do the IPO the initial public offering uh, so in our previous lectures I have already discussed what is in public issue so according to SEBI ICDR I am going to discuss this IPO collection right so my name is Ramandeep Singh and let's start so first and the most important topic what are the various uh, there are three uh, types of investors in case of an IPO the qualified institutional buyers or QIBs, the non-retail investors and the retail investors. So who are QIBs? The mutual fund AMCs. The mutual fund AMCs are there. The pension funds are there. The insurance companies are there in pension fund. The insurance company or all the, those, you know, big investors, big institutional investors. They are QIB. They need to be registered to say, uh, with SEBI. Then there are non-retail investors. This one is really important. As per latest guidelines of SEBI, as per the SEBI ICDR regulations, uh, an investor who invests more than 2 lakh rupees, 2 lakh or more than 2 lakh rupees, uh, he is a non-retail investor and we also call them a high net worth individual HNI and we also call them a non-institutional investor. And any investor who is investing less than 2 lakh rupees less than 2 lakh rupees in an IPO he is a retail investor or an individual investor right so why we we are dividing the investors into three, three categories because there is a proper quota for each of these investors in the IPOs so there are basically two types of uh, IPOs uh, we can differentiate according to the prime this one is the most popular uh, the book building in case the issue price is determined by the company who is going to be listed, who is going to raise the money, that is a fixed price issue. The offer price is going to be determined by the company. And in case the offer price is determined by the book building process or by the demand and supply forces, the demand of the issue by the investors, that is a book building process. So let's first talk about the quota of the book building process. 50% uh, of the shares are reserved for QIBs, 15% of the shares are uh, reserved for the non-retail or an investor who is going to invest 2 lakh rupees or more, 2 lakh or more and 35% of the you know uh, lots are going to be reserved for retail. So less than 2 lakh rupees who are going to invest less than 2 lakh rupees. And yes, there can be a price band. There can be a difference of 20% uh, in the price band. What is price band? Very important. So whenever a company issues, uh, uh, you know, an advertisement for book building, whenever they uh, issue the red herring prospectus, uh, there is a price band. If you read any advertisement of an IPO, they'll tell you the price band is, uh, let's say, 100 to 120 or 100 to 110. 100 to 110 so this is known as price band and then uh, it will be mentioned that suppose it, the price band is 100 to 110 they will mention you can make an uh, you know bid of uh, 100, 102, 100, 400, 6, 108, 110 so that will be mentioned there you, you cannot make an you know bid of 101 so whatever is mentioned there you need to do that and there can be a maximum gap of 20% between this uh, so the lower this uh, the lower uh, the price in the price band this 100 rupees is the floor price this is the floor price and 110 is the cap and there can be a dif difference of 20% between the floor price and cap so if the floor price is rupees 100 the cap can be 120 so in case of a fixed price issue the offer price is determined by the company and 50% of the shares are reserved for investors who are going to you know make an investment of 2 lakh or more and rest of the you know issue is reserved for retail investors so if the retail invest retail investors are not interested they uh, they didn't show much interest then those shares can be issued to QIBs and you know HNIs really simple book building is really important this 20 percent wala funda is actually really important there can be a price gap or there can be a gap of 20 percent between floor price and cap that is really important and whenever there is a uh, whenever the there is uh, the a company makes an issue 
uh, as per the sebi cdr law the pr uh, the offer will be open for 3 to 10 days the offer will be would be open for 3 to 10 days normally in the normal day to day business i have noticed that offer is open for just 3 days that is normal so this uh, slide is actually really important these reservations are really important the definition of retail investor is really important the definition of non retail in, uh, investors is really important the gap of price band is really important right so what is floor uh, price and the cap uh, this is really important and the uh, offer uh, you know offer can be open for 3 to 10 days that is actually really important oh, everything is really important uh, so what is the book building process the book building process starts with the hiring of a merchant banker so suppose there is a company who wants to raise the money from the capital market first of all they need to hire a merchant banker who are merchant banker uh, there is IDBI, ICICI, IDBI, I think ICICI, even uh, ICICI, SBI. Uh, they also provide the merchant banking facilities. So the company who wants to raise the capital from I, uh, from an IPO, they can contact them and they can hire one of them, right? And then uh, filing an application to the SAB. Uh, then the company needs to file an application to the SEBI and then they need to issue after you know approval of the application they need to issue the red herring prospectus what is red herring prospectus uh, suppose there is a company who wants to raise uh, money from that you know stock market for the very first time the, the investor they don't know anything about it suppose I want to make an investment uh, into stock market right what I'm going to do I'm going to read the balance suppose I want to make an investment in any bank right in a private sector bank what I'm going to do I'm going to collect the data for like 10 12 banks right I'll read their balance sheet I'll re I'll I'll just go through uh, what is the you know rate of NPAs and then I'll go through uh, what is the financial health of the bank is it even profitable uh, what is the rate of return on net worth so uh, that's what I'm going to check but in case of an IPO no such information is available uh, that particular company they themselves need to provide that information and how they are going to do it they are going to do it via red herring prospectors they are going to tell you uh, what in which business they are already working in what are their you know future plans future goals what is their business I mean uh, how, how well they are doing it uh, they will release their audited balance sheets and then they will advertise it, uh, advertise it. Um, the last time I saw huge advertisements of an IPO that was Reliance Power so in 2008, which was according to me a kind of a scam, right now that company does, I mean, the you can just check the, you know, just search on Google, uh, the stock price of Reliance Power and just check the history. Uh, I mean, just check for 10 years. I mean, that what that's what happened. The We, uh, we saw the advertisements in the TV and the TV newspaper everywhere. Advertisement was everywhere. So a company is going to advertise it and then at the end they are going to make an allotment and then the company will be on the stock markets that will be listed on a stock market once. Now, one way more important thing, a company who is making an IPO at the company who is raising money uh, from the capital marking via IPO they need to list their company in a recognized stock exchange which is having the online terminal all over the country that's also really important that that is according to SEBI ICDR law so price discovery mechanisms let's say the bid price is 190 uh, 190 to 210 that is the offer price 190 to 210 that is the price band that is a price band now uh, the company they you know they makes an uh, invitation to offer the red ring prospectus that is an invitation to offer uh, and they made an invitation to offer for let's say 40,000 lots and one lot is equal to 10 shares that is quite normal one lot is equal to 10 shares we are not going to talk about shares we are we are talking about lots so let's say uh, uh, just 10,000 uh, people they they you know make a bid of 210 at, at the rate of 210 205 people they made a bid of at the rate 205 and 30,000 people they made a bid at 200 so by this time the issue is subscribed by 1x right the issue is subscribed by 1x so these people they are not going to get any share 
नाउ द स्ट्राइक प्राइस इज गोइंग टू बी टू हंड्रेड ओनली द स्ट्राइक प्राइस इज गोइंग टू बी टू हंड्रेड ओनली एंड वट एवर एक्स्ट्रा मनी दैट वी गॉड फ्रॉम दीज टू दू द फाइव रुपीज एक्स्ट्रा एंड द टेन रुपीज एक्स्ट्रा वी नीड टू रिफंड इट एंड द शेयर आर टू बी अलॉटेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑन द प्रो रेटा बेसिस सो थर्टी थाउजेंड प्लस टेन थाउजेंड फोर्टी थाउजेंड एंड फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड राइट सो इट्स फोर्टी फाइव प्लस टेन इट इज फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड सो फिफ्टी थर्ट फोर्टी ओवर फिफ्टी फाइव राइट सो वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज वी आर गोइंग टू इश्यू द शेयर ऑन द बेस ऑन प्रो रेटा बेसिस राइट सो Proportionally, we are going to provide the shares, right? So, whoever applied for fifty-five lots, he is going to get forty lots. That's in the simple mathematical terms. But that's not normal. <laughs> Most of the times, the uh, issues are you know over. One more important fact: the is if an issue is not uh, is undersubscribed, and if it is nine, if it is subscribed, uh, you know, ninety percent of the issues not subscribed. all the money needed to be you know refunded so if they uh, you know they want to raise money for 40000 lots and if they got the you know bids for 35000 lots then they need to refund all the money because they didn't get the 90% subscription that is mandatory as per the cbi icd law uh, 90% subscription is mandatory okay let's move forward in most of the cases uh, recently there was say hdfc uh, you know asset management company uh, shares were released that was i think over subscribed by i need you need to check it i think by 20 20x i think in that case a merchant banker what they are going to do they are going to release the shares via lottery method as there are a lot of you know investors who who need the shares and uh, they have the limited you know they need to raise the limited amount of money so there will be lottery so whoever uh, who has whoever is having his name on the lottery he is going to get the shares so all these people they won't get any share but whoever just uh, you know made an application at the cap price he'll get the share so let's move forward that's all for today students i hope you are able to understand this in my previous lecture i am remaking this lecture why because on uh, bse's official website uh, this thing was wrong i mean uh, i mean on the bse's official website it was mentioned that 35% uh, for retail and uh, i sorry 15% for retail and 35% for non retail so that was wrong this is the correct number i have gone through the sebi's official guidelines and i request you all to follow this one only so i am going to make a notification proper notification to all the students to rectify this mistake so that's all for today students thank you and i have a very nice day bye